Welcome to the WordPress Beginners Training Series video number 5, Creating Blog Posts. To create a blog post, we need to hover over Posts and then click All Posts. By default, you will have one post automatically created, and that will be Hello World. Now let's go in and we can either edit the post or we can go ahead and delete it. I'm going to opt in to delete it by clicking on the trash and it's been moved to the trash can. So let's go ahead and create a new blog post by clicking on the add new at the top. My first blog post will be the title. And then in the content section we can type anything we want. Uh, this is your blog. You can type anything regarding research that you have done, uh, personal interests, desires, whatever. Um, I'm just going to post a very short one saying I am excited to work with WordPress. Now let's talk about the different squares, the different sections on the add a new post screen. At the very top you'll notice that it looks very similar to when you create a new page. You have a field to type in a title and then by the title that you type in, a link will be automatically generated. Now you can edit the link if you'd like. And then you can type in content inside the text editor. You can add media as discussed in a previous video. The publish box offers the same features as the page. You can save the draft. You can change the visibility by making it a public, a private, or a password protected blog entry. And you can set the publish date to be somewhere in the past or even the future. Post, if you set in the future, will not be made available until that day and time in which you set. The format box here is not available in all WordPress themes installed on our web pages. Um, on, on this theme, basically what it means is every time you post a link or any of the other formats, it may display differently on the page itself. As you begin creating more blog posts, you want to structure it somehow, and that's and that's why you use categories for, let's say, research, uh, courses taught, so forth and so on. And another way to organize is by using tags, and that's similar to small little keywords that your blog has talked about. And finally, and basically what the featured image is, is just a image that goes along with that blog post. Now that I'm ready to publish my first post, I'm going to click on the big blue button publish. And when the page refresh, you can see that the post has been published in a link to view this post. By viewing it, I can see the title and this small entry. I'm excited to work with WordPress. And now that I have added a comment, I can refresh this page and see that I have posted great. I can't wait to see what you will post. I know I'm sending a comment to myself, so please pardon the uh, users there. In this tutorial, I showed you how to create a blog post.